Monolith struck something altogether unique with Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. The gameplay is solid, and killing orcs and uruks is an absolute blast. Unfortunately, the story is nothing special, and the landscape of Mordor isn't particularly interesting. But the Nemesis system certainly makes up for this by creating an organic, ever-changing world. In Shadow of Mordor, you play as Talion, a ranger guarding the Black Gate in order to keep the evils of Mordor at bay. After a painfully brief tutorial and prologue, Talion and his family are ritually executed by a mysterious figure known as the Black Hand of Sauron. Talion is then possessed by an amnesic wraith and brought back to life with some powerful new abilities. He then embarks on his path of revenge, effectively creating a one-dimensional character whose only goal is to kill indiscriminately. Luckily, The Wraith's Pass is a far more interesting story that is bound to entice many Tolkien fans. Overall, the story falls flat. I can sympathize with Talion's anger, but some additional exposition and dialogue on the side of his family would have been nice in order for me to truly feel some sense of loss. Furthermore, the ending resolves almost nothing and merely acts as a cliffhanger to lead into the Lord of the Rings movies. Main mission structure often clashes with the player freedom present outside of the story, forcing you to approach the situation completely stealthily or completely head-on. The side missions in Shadow of Mordor allow you to forge the legends of your weapons. In classic Lord of the Rings fashion, you will take on seemingly impossible tasks in order to create a legend of Talion that will be sung about for generations, such as slaying 30 Uruks without being hit, or freeing an entire slave compound without being detected by enemies. Though the story will likely fail to grasp better, the gameplay is undoubtedly addictive. If you played the Batman Arkham games, the Middle Earth combat will come naturally. You attack enemies relentlessly, all the while waiting for them to attack in turn so you can counter and continue to build your streak. High hit streaks then allow you to perform executions, combat drains, and other abilities. Often battle tactics involve mounting Karagors, slow motion bow attacks, and mind controlling enemies to fight for you. Stealth exists in Shadow of Mordor, but more as a tactic to thin the herd a bit before engaging in direct combat. A variety of Wraith and Ranger abilities allow for a diverse and powerful movesets, while additional unlockable perks allow you to adjust Talion to your playstyle. For greater variety, captains drop weapon-specific runes when killed, allowing you to beef up Talion's weapon arsenal. Hunting down and eliminating captains and warchiefs is a blast, thanks to Shadow of Mordor's unique nemesis system. It works like this. You find a captain with randomly generated strength and weaknesses. If he kills you in battle, he levels up, gets stronger, and has the ability to advance to a higher rank. If he loses in battle, but does not die, then he will hunt you down for revenge. The enemy AI remembers the various encounters and will respond accordingly when you meet them in battle again. The system makes Mordor feel alive. You feel as if the captains are moving in real time, constantly searching for Talion to enact revenge for the various scars that mar their bodies. Unfortunately, Mordor's landscape is dull, and getting around is complete bore as Talion's major form of travel is on foot, proving that one can simply walk into Mordor. Though a fast travel system exists, Mordor is large, and it'll take some time to unlock the various travel locations. The world begins to feel like the space between waypoints, while the occasional fort does give a glimpse as to what it could have been. With Middle-earth, Shadow of Mordor, Monolith has likely created a new franchise, and I couldn't be more excited to see where they were take it. In my 21 hours of slaying orcs and forging the legend of Talion, I saw the sheer potential that this property has. Shadow of Mordor has some problems with the story and mission structure, but I would absolutely recommend that everyone play this game.